Come on, you're good. You're good. Glad everything worked out the way that it did. Because we don't think of, you don't think about it like that. Like, what if she didn't make it? I'd never go back to that house again. And it would have just been some lady that I attempted to do CPR on. <laughs> Hi. Oh, how are you? How are you? You look good. How are you doing? Of course. Yeah, how are I'm, you doing? I'm, I'm doing. I heard that you're getting um. I'm gonna have the um, different. The pace is a pacemaker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna give you one. And... Yeah. We were in the COVID situation, and you don't care about that. You just want to save my life. That's what we're here for. That's. That's what we're here for. And, okay. God bless you so much. No, oh, I, 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 you know, I think about you from time to time, just because this was, because you were, I mean, you were here, yeah. and it was very, very traumatic. It was emotional and it was dramatic, and 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 I think that what if that was my mom making my family dinner, and mm -hmm. and if you guys weren't home or um, if I wasn't right down the street, you have very little time to actually. It's, it's not a situation where somebody just did something they weren't supposed to. It's, a, it's essentially a cry for help. So you don't have time to process everything that's going on. She's a mom, her kids are in the house, and worst case scenario, she's not gonna wake up. So being able to go back and have a conversation with her, because I didn't talk to her the day that it happened, she was, wasn't breathing, didn't have a pulse, and then she went straight to the hospital. So, so being able to actually have a conversation with her and kind of see it from from her point of view, and then tell her my point of view, and just both of us expressing how happy we were that it worked out the way it did, is those small moments that make this job bearable, I guess. It was scary for me too. Yeah, <laughs> I was uh, I was terrified. Really? Yeah, because it's it, like I said. I mean, I have I have my mom, and everyone has their mom, and mom. Yeah. Mom does everything. Mom cooks. Yeah. Mom cleans. Mom takes care of us. Mom helped us with our homework when we were older. So, it's different when you when I guess when I was driving here, I don't know what to think. But then I walk into your home and I see your daughters, and then I, you know everything that's in the kitchen, and it's just like this is just a mom. So. I, I, you don't know how happy I am that I was able to help you and to get here as fast as I did and, and, and give you many more years and memories with your, with your family. You don't really look at, I mean, you do the job or you at least sign up to do the job to, because you want to help people. And which can be interpreted by a million different people a million different ways. What is actually helping people? So I think without, it doesn't really take any explanation that when you have the ability to save somebody's life and keep them in the picture with their family so they can keep making memories together, I, I don't really see how better you could help somebody other than that, other than giving them more time with their family.